Hi guys. I uh, wanted to show you some of the uh, flowers that I've been working on. Uh, they're crocheted with uh, different colored uh, yarns and threads. I just did a small haul on a few of the yarns and threads that I recently picked up. So I just wanted to come on and show you some of the flowers that I've been uh, working on. And they're quite small and you can also make them even a little smaller. I have a another uh, YouTube video um, on the smaller flower. It's a little smaller than this. And I thought those were kind of cute. So yeah, these are some of the flowers that I've been working on. And this is the Mercer-sized uh, thread which is comes in silver and I have this gold and I really really love this one here they're really really pretty and shiny and what's so unique about these is that you can add you know whatever uh, little decoration that you want to add to it can add a rhinestone, you can add pearls, any type of beads. I may not have any up here. So yeah, those were um, all those things you can add to decorate your, oh yeah, here's some. Decorate your flowers. And then they make really uh, pretty additions to your projects. So yeah. pink. You can add a pearl. If that pearl is too large, you can add smaller pearls. You know, sky's the limit. Do whatever you want. I thought that makes real pretty little flowers. Real pretty additions. And save yourself some money when you crochet. Um, there's so many different flowers. But this is a really quick and easy flower that don't take too much time. And you can make... Ooh, just gobs of them in a little no time. So I thought I would share that with you, those that like to crochet or want to learn how to crochet or have been crocheting for a while. So yeah, these are uh, some of my flowers that I've crocheted. So I want to, uh, when we were starting off, this is the, uh, the thread, crochet thread. And you normally can find this at Walmart or, you know, thrift stores or what have you. And I usually start, leave about a four inch or so tail. Sometimes you leave it a little longer, but I think that's sufficient, quite enough, because you don't want to waste it. Um, and I have a G-hook, and it's also a four and a quarter or a fourth millimeter. So this is the size that I've been using to make the flowers that you saw in the box. So what we're going to do is take our needle and go under, under the, you can hold your, well first of all let's wrap our thread, I keep want to say yarn, around. You can take your hook and you can go under. Pull up, let it go. There's different ways to make a slip knot. This was just um, all right. Let's start. Let's do this again. Take it around your finger. Take it through. You grab that one on top, and you see that that loop. That's our slip knot. I think that was easy enough. So whichever way it, it helps you to do a slip knot, you know, you, you do that. And on my other video, it's probably a little uh, better demonstration to show that. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to take our hook. We're going to take the hook, go around. And see, I'm holding this here tail to kind of keep it taut a little bit. I'm just holding that. And then we're going to take that hook and we're going to we're going to draw it through a little tight. So you'll learn your tension. So, And then some of the uh, yarns and threads, you have to be careful about what you're using so it don't, you know, cause you to get upset and say, oh, this is too hard. I'm not going to do this. So that's one. Two, we're going to do four, three, four. So we have four loops on this uh, chain here. Then we're going to take our needle, the hook, we're going to go back in to that first. Let's see, this is a little tight, okay. And however it's comfortable for you to hold your thread or your yarn, you know, you do that. You make it easy, you know, for yourself. So we're going to take our hook again. Let's see. We're going to pull it through the first. We'll pull it through the first. And then we're going to pull it through the second one. And we're going to hold it there. And it's a little hole in the center. You want to try to keep that so you can see where the center is. It's not necessary, but it just might make it a little easier for you. So, if you can see that hole. Okay, we're going to take our hook. And then we're going to take the hook and go into the hole. We're going to grab the yarn or our thread. I keep saying yarn, I'm sorry. And then we're going to make a stitch. That's one. We're going to make 12 of these inside of this hole. If you can see that hole. See? See, it's a hole right there. And that's where we're working. And we keep putting our hook back through this hole until we have 12 on there. On this one uh, circle. We're going to go back in. We're going to grab... Our thread and we're gonna pull it through. We're gonna go back through there again, pull it through, and this is gonna make the third stitch. We're gonna go back in again, gonna pull it through. This is gonna make the fourth stitch. I hope you can see that uh, pretty good. Okay, we have four stitches. And we're going to go back in again, grab it, pull it through, and this is going to make the fourth, one, two, three, four, five, six stitch. We're going to go back in, pull it through, and this is seven. We're going to go in, pull it through. And that's going to make the eighth stitch. Go back in. Pull it through. This is going to be the ninth stitch. Oops. Sorry about that. This is the ninth stitch. Gonna go back in. Pull through. In, 11, and last stitch, our 12th stitch. And if I'm out, if I miscounted, uh, it's okay. You know, just go ahead and continue to work your stitches because one too many is not going to make that much of a difference. You don't have to worry about that. So that's that's our circle. So now what we're going to do 
that first chain that we made, we're going to go back in and we're going to grab and sometimes when you're using kind of like a little fancy yarn, it, it snags or it holds on, you know, stuff like that. So now there's two loops on the hook. There's two loops. So we're not going to grab again. We're going to take this one here and see that little extra yarn sticking up. We're going to pull through. That was a slip. No, we just made another slip knot. So now we're going to go and grab our yarn or our thread and chain one. When you pull it through again, that's called chain one. So then we're going to we're going to go back into that next chain. We're going to grab our yarn. Grab it on outside and pull it through. No, that, that's not right. I'm sorry. It's late and I should be asleep. <laughs> I'm up trying to crochet. But uh, we're going to get this. Don't worry. So we're going to chain one. This is two, three, four. Okay, we just chained four. And we're going to go all the way around until we get back to uh, the 12th stitch. Okay. So then we're going to go back in, take our hook, go down in the hole. We're going to Pull our yarn or our thread through. I keep saying yarn because I'm so used to uh, using yarn. Uh, we're going to make another slip knot. You see, that just made like a little flower petal on the edge there. So now we're going to. Chain four again. One, two, three, four. That's another chain. So we're going to take our hook, go back into the hole, come around, grab that thread, pull it through. That made another petal. Chain four again. One. Go back into the hole. And when you're using a smoother yarn or thread, I believe it'll be easier to see. So if this isn't, uh, you know, clearly shown, I'll just re-upload the video. One, two, three, four. Four chains again. Go back into the hole next to that. And we're going to make another slip knot. And we're going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. And it all depends. You know, your tension is not going to be uh, right on point at the beginning. But just make your flower. Don't worry about, you know, how it's looking. Just get used to making the flower. So then we're going to pull it through again. You see it's kind of taking a shape there. Then we're going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. And that's all it is. That's just like that. And just go around. Pull that yarn through. Pull it through there. And then make your chain. One, two, three, four. Okay. Back down into the next hole. Pull it through. Slip knot. One, two, three, four. Back down into the next hole. Grab the yarn. Pull it through the yarn on the hook. And this here is like your tension. So when you see me doing this, I'm actually pulling this thread so it'll be 
a little tighter, not tight, tight, but just, you know, to pull it together. So then I chain four again. One, two, three, four. Back down inside the hole. Another chain. One, two, three, four. Back in the hole. Slip knot. One, two, three, four. No, we're almost there. How's that looking? Just about there. Okay, the last hole. I'll go around. Pull it through. Slip knot again. And now since we're at the end of our flower, just take it off your finger. Get a you know a better hold on it. We're gonna pull it through. Far enough. Take your hook out. Click your thread. And when you turn it over to the back, you'll have uh, your tail hanging here. You see, that's why I said it didn't have to be that long. It could be woven in at the beginning, or you can leave it. Uh, then I take my hook and I go back and I grab that piece and bring it to the back of the flower and I just tie it off because you may want it to uh, attach to something so that's another reason to have that little piece back there if you like but you know it's up to you however you feel comfortable it, it could be weaved in or it could just uh, be tied off. And that's your flower. That wasn't so bad. Pretty neat. Now you can make your own fabric flowers. They can be larger, smaller, you know, the sky's the limit. And you know what else is so really nice is when you are making your hats for the winter or your scarves or your gloves or your mittens, you can attach your flower to your hat. You know how they wear the big flowers on the side? These also can be added to your headbands, uh, your projects, you know, whatever. So just have fun. Any color, just go check out some yarns and come back and have fun. Uh, Anyone interested in doing a uh, flower challenge, just let me know and we can uh, make some more flowers, uh, make some scarves or what have you, add it to projects, and we can go to nine yards. So that's your flower. So I hope you guys uh, could understand the video, um, and if it was something that was not uh, clarified just let me know leave comment uh, down below in the comment section uh, like the video uh, subscribe if you like and I'll get back with you uh, with any uh, answer that you might have or need and I want to thank you guys for watching the video and being up with me when I should be asleep so thank you guys have fun See you soon.